guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another week in my life. It is Monday in New York City. It is 77 degrees outside. Well, it, a high of, it's getting there today. And the sun is out and it's a stunning day because it's also Brooke's birthday. Also tax day, but Brooke's birthday, her 27th birthday. She was like, I don't really want to do anything this year. And me and her friends were like, what? And then she texted Katie and I last week and said, do you guys want to do a birthday brunch at Bubby's in Tribeca? Boom, sold. I'm there. Here is my little fit. Since it's gonna be so warm, we might walk around a little after. I'm wearing this cute little white tube drop waist dress. I'll have it linked below, this little J. Crew sweater. Got to bring my bring out my Loewe little basket bag. So I'm gonna grab her some flowers on the way there because her gift was supposed to come on Friday. Long story short, it's coming today now, so I might have to do an extra special delivery for her later. Um, just some jewelry, did my little updo again because it's so great for dirty hair. Sneakers in case we walk around, but yeah, we're gonna head to the florist, grab her a little mini bouquet or something she could walk around with, or I can keep it in this bag. Let's get started with the day. It's gonna be a great start to the week. No, Brooke was like, guys, because I saw all these people walking, and Brooke's like, no, those are extras. Because but they, they looked so normal. They look still One guy like was like him. holding a bag of like yeah. the they deli, and I'm like, yeah. but then he stopped walking, and he was. Dumb. And then he went to his corner. Yeah. <laughs> we just came across another one. Brooke's looking up what the code word means. SS24. We're just on a film tour. It's oh, fine. Yeah. We're now in Soho. Um. That is on here. Look, then they post the schedule. Only Murders, Only murders so is filming this week. Oh my god, OLV. I love this Twitter. OLV is, is the Twitter. Name. We're in Reformation. I have never tried on anything in here before and it's crazy. So they have only one size out there and then you bring it to them, you tell them what size you are and then you walk into the dressing room, these doors are closed and someone on the other side puts the sizes in here that you want and then if you need another size, you order on the iPad, you shut these doors and then it shows up. I'm like, this is kind of magic, obsessed. Um, so Katie's trying some stuff on too. I'm really trying to build like a little capsule spring summer wardrobe, just a ton of basics. And I thought this dress from Reformation was stunning. And then also, I mean, this isn't necessarily a capsule, but I just thought this top was so beautiful with a pair of jeans, but I wanna see how I like how it looks on. I am not wearing pants, but this is actually really cute. This is cute, but I don't, I'm too short. I don't like where this hits. And I also thought it was gonna be more like flare. I didn't know it was gonna be bodycon, so this is a no. I do love the top. I wonder if they have a shirt like this. But yeah, no, this is doing nothing for me. Still in Soho, the girls just left. I popped into Diesel. I got Kelly her birthday gift because her birthday is this weekend. And I got her a cute, I'll show you guys when we get back, a cute little mini Diesel bag because she has one. But I got her a different color and I think she'll love it. <laughs> got home of course Brooke's gift just got here but how stunning is this oh my god I hope it's like a good claw clip like I hope I think this would be so cute for half up half downs and it's big enough to put all of your hair up too I think I hope she likes it I almost want to like get it to her today uh, overboard no no you'll see there's a story read the card first okay or I'll just tell you no I'll just tell you yeah you can read Hold the card on. later I wanted to put it in a bag so the guy wouldn't see it. I love it. And then I saw the box and that's why I was like, wow, this is very nice, guys. Very, very nice. I'm excited about it, though. Oh, am I going to cry? Um, no. I don't think so. Oh, for my new era. Yes, yes, for your new era. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, because you haven't opened it? Oh, no, I opened it. I had to see it. But, I mean, I hope it works well. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God, Danielle. That... This is 
so nice of you. Oh my God, she's stunning. She's heavy. Guys, <laughs> yeah, this is like a heavy. <laughs> now I really need to learn how to use a claw. I know. <laughs> I hope it's, I didn't like use it, but I really hope it like holds hair. If anything, it'll be good for half a puff downs. <laughs> Wait, let's see. I don't. I hope it holds hair well. I mean, it freaking better. Oh yeah. We're Does good. it? Yeah. Look, we're in biz. Okay. I. You know how you just I pulled it back it. fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. It's let me. So let me, beautiful. It feels sturdy. Like it's a good. Like the mechanism on the claw is good. You okay. Know good. Saying? I was oh like, God, I feel like it's so thoughtful. It's a lot later now. I'm gonna head to an afternoon Pilates class. This is the most random outfit. I'm wearing like a workout onesie sweater over top. Cause it's 77 degrees outside, baby. But I still have like my basket bag from earlier. But I'm wearing Uggs. It's just a very confused outfit, but we're gonna roll with it. I'm going to New York Pilates and I can't wait. Workout is done. Back home from my Pilates class, showered. It's time for dinner, tonight's dinner. We're gonna do some Rayos, meatballs and sauce with some green beans, literally the best. I love this because you can microwave it in the bag. And obviously I microwave these two. It's just so easy and it's so tasty. I am waiting on the green beans. They're in the microwave. These meatballs just look so good. I decided to add these here, which this I found on Amazon. Kate Davis, an influencer, posted about them. It's, um, this is like a fettuccine pasta but it's made out of a plant. Um, so it's obviously a little bit healthier than regular pasta. I normally would just eat this with the meatballs and green beans, but I was like, let me just add a little something. So I feel like this is so great. It's already like pre-made. You just put it in a strainer and rinse with water. Um, I really don't understand it, but I'm so obsessed with it. Um, if you're looking for something like this, I literally got it on Amazon. So it's a nice little supplement for the meatballs. And the green beans are done. They're sizzling. Sometimes I cook them over the stove and add like garlic and stuff, but tonight I'm just so hungry because I didn't really have lunch because we had like the breakfast. Ta-da, this looks amazing. Okay guys, Ryan's here because I think I said in my last vlog, the drawers in this thing all of a sudden kind of started to fall a little bit. And he said that's partially due to, I had so many products in there. So that's one problem, but he went to Ace Hardware Sweet Boy and it's like, Fixing it for me, which I really appreciate. He's having some dinner right now. <laughs> and I'm very appreciative. Ryan left, fixed my piece of furniture. I'm forever grateful to him. I am going to the Cayman Islands this weekend um, with Ryan and some other couples and some other friends for Kellyanne's birthday, Makeup XKA. I'm so excited. She was like, hey guys, I wanna go to Grand Cayman Island, or was it the Cayman Islands, Grand Cayman? Me and my boyfriend are going, anyone can come. And everyone was so down and I've been craving like a tropical fun vacation like this. And I'm so excited that Ryan can come. So I pulled out my little portable Amazon rack here and I started pulling things that I want to bring with me on the trip. I found some great stuff from Tiger Mist. They always have great little vacation stuff. Um, when this vlog is up, definitely go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn and TikTok because there'll be lots of vacation content. I wore this last year in Greece and I want to bring it again because it's such a fun dress. Got this little number, some like cover ups. These are really cool beach pants. Um, I think we're doing a boat at one point. So I'm thinking like I'll wear this on the boat. It's like a little yellow set from Tiger Mist. I don't really know. But yeah, I just started kind of pulling all that. Um, but I'm very, very, very sleepy. And I must get going to bed. We've got a fun day tomorrow. We've got a workout in the morning and then it's hair wash day and I'm excited because I'm trying out some new products. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Done and now I'm about to shower and do my hair and get ready for the day because we have a fun, exciting day of filming 
and plans with friends tonight, so I'm excited. I just got a package in the mail from Kevin Murphy. I've actually used one of their products before, the Hair Resort. It's like this waiver. Thank you, Kevin Murphy, for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited. They are such an amazing brand. The Hair Resort product that I have is seriously so great, like during the summer, if you want those waves. But my hairdresser, actually, Mads Hair here in New York, she has been telling me forever to try these products. So I'm so excited to finally try them today. I love this packaging right here. So this is the blonde angel wash. This is precisely what Mads told me I needed because I do still have blonde hair and I wanna keep that and maintain it. So this is the color enhancing shampoo for blonde hair. I love this packaging. I'm literally about to go use it in the shower right now. I'm so excited to see how it looks. And then this is the blonde angel color enhancing treatment for blonde hair. So we've got the shampoo and the conditioner right here. I, I can't get over the packaging. It's so cute. And then they also sent over the cutest minis, which is perfect because like I said, I'm traveling this weekend. So I will be bringing these with me. This is the Color Protect Shampoo with pH sealing technology. This is the Color Protect Conditioner with pH sealing technology. This is perfect too because I'm going on a beach vacation. So I wanna make sure my hair color is still looking good, feeling fresh. And I feel like my hair gets super dry when I'm on vacation, beach, pool, that vibe. So I feel like these will be great for that. These products are available in salons or online. So it's very accessible. You can take their little matchmaker quiz to see what products are best for you. My blondes, again, a hairstylist recommended these to me, so I'm assuming my hair is just gonna look so good after this. I'm excited to see. Hot tip, if you sign up for the Kevin Murphy newsletter, you will get two free minis in your package as well with your order, so highly suggest. Anywho, I'm gonna take a shower and we're gonna try these products out. That was a very luxurious shower. Hair is wet, I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit before I style it, but feeling good. <laughs> okay, hair is done. I need you guys to see in the light. Like my blonde looks so bright. Like these front pieces, cause I have like darker roots and then I did like these front blonde money, money pieces and I feel like they look so much brighter, less brassy. I am very impressed. I'm definitely gonna add this to my shower rotation of washing my hair like every three washes I'll probably use that, maybe every two. Um, cause I also like to use like a detox, stuff like that. I'm happy. I'm also really happy with my hair looks today. <laughs> also, my mom went to the masters, funny enough, and she asked if we wanted merch. And I said, I really wanted a green trucker hat with like the netting on the side. And she just sent it in the mail. That was so nice of her. I'm so obsessed. And she got Ryan a shirt too. Okay, I need breakfast. I'm so hungry. I obviously had a cottage cheese after I worked out, but I am a breakfast person. Um, we're gonna do the full night arch. We're gonna do eggs. Oh, I ran out of turkey sausage. What else do I have? Okay, we're doing eggs and toast. Yeah, I, ran, I gotta get more turkey sausage. Okay, we're gonna do eggs. And my solo bread that I love so much. Um, oh, I have avocado. I was like, I know I have something else breakfast related. It's proper that I cook right now because we are recording AM Uncovered today with Tegan from Half Baked Harvest. She's in town. We're gonna do it in her hotel room. She has a really cool morning routine. Like it's very simple yet so specific all at the same time. She's like, I hope this is good. I was like, it really is. It's really interesting because I feel like she shows her cooking on her Instagram, but not necessarily her morning routine. So I can't wait for you guys to see that one. Um, I feel like so many of you guys love her. So I think it's gonna be really fun. She is the best and yeah i'm gonna make my eggs i already have my outfit picked out and i just need to like do my makeup i need to leave in 45 minutes so i'm like really happy with my hair sometimes it's a hit sometimes it's not like styling wise and it's i think i need to go for like not like not do as much volume up top as what i need to do i'm sorry this is just stunning like i'm so excited and the final touch i go in and out of using hot sauce because it's only if i have this in my kitchen this is texas peat hot sauce i like it because it's really not spicy at all I don't do well with actual spice, but I do like the taste that this hot sauce gives. I only put it on the eggs. I know some people put hot sauce on their avocado, but wow, I'm gonna dig it. We're at the vanity. Like, look how much better this looks. If you don't remember, these were all messed up. Ryan was just missing like one more screw. So he's gonna go to Ace today and fix it. But like, God bless that man. Seriously, that was so nice of him to fix these for me. And I learned my lesson and I won't overcrowd. <laughs> the drawers because <laughs> I do believe that was the problem. Um, okay, we're gonna do a little makeup. 
obsessed with this little set from Amazon. It's like a Spanx dupe. I got it in brown, but I feel like they had other colors too. Um, okay, where am I even starting? I'm gonna start with these wipes. These Dr. Dennis gross peel pads. They're literally the best. Kat got me onto them. They're like a two-step. This first wipe is exfoliate and smooth, and then the second wipe is an anti-aging neutralizer. I feel like my makeup just applies better when I use these. These are the ultra gentle ones, so I can use them more often because the other ones are a little bit more intense, supposedly. I've actually never even used the other ones. Kat just told me to use these for my skin. So, I don't know, do I have sensitive skin? I have no idea. But yeah, I have lots of fun trips coming up. And um, yeah, so going to Grand Cayman this weekend, the Cayman Islands. I like don't understand. Cayman Islands, Great Cayman. And the next weekend, Stagecoach. I'm going with Margot Oshry, Taylor King, Kenzie Elizabeth, maybe Kelly. I'm trying to convince her to come and stay in our house with us. She was like, are you going? I was like, yeah, you wanna come? Um, Cause she's a country music girl. Some people get confused. Stagecoach is literally on the grounds of Coachella. Like the Ferris wheel is there. A lot of people don't understand that cause it goes Coachella weekend one. Coachella Weekend 2, and then Stagecoach. So it's like on the grounds. They do kind of, oh my God, I'm like raw dogging this. I, hold on. I didn't put on moisturizer. I was like, something feels weird. I'll just use the wipes again. Oh my God, that was so strange of me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back to normal. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. Um, I'm also gonna use some of this Tatcha Dew Cream because I feel like my skin's a little extra dry right now for whatever reason. Anywho, yeah, so Stagecoach is the same, but they kind of do switch around the layout. They're still the Ferris wheel, but they add like more Western decor, if you will, and there's different booths, and the stage is like the main stage is called the main stage, like M-A-N-E, like a horse's mane, and it's really fun. I feel like so many people are going to uh, Stagecoach this year, like it's actually crazy. Like people who, normally always go to Coachella. They chose Stagecoach over Coachella. But I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna be more of a scene this year. The last two years I've gone, it's been so fun and chill, which I can't lie, I love, but always excited to see more people. And then the weekend after, it just happens like I have three weekends in a row of trips. Um, I'm like in New York throughout the week though, which is my favorite. I love being in New York on the weekdays. Like I just can be on my grind in my apartment that I love so much. Um, going to Jackson Hole with my best friends from college. Kind of random, but yeah, we were all just like, one of my friends really wanted to go. And uh, another one of my friends, Alex, who planned our Greece trip last year that was so epic. You should go watch those vlogs. It was so fun. If you're going to Greece this summer, definitely go watch to see where we went, what we did. We did Santorini and Mykonos. Um, but she planned our Jackson Hole trip. And my friend Isabella. I mean, all of, all of us have kind of put, ah, no. Honestly, just a few of them. Like, uh, this is one of the first trips ever that I'm just showing up to. Same as Greece. Like, I just showed up. It was so nice because I'm typically the friend that is kind of organizing it. And I'm not mad about it. But it's fun in this case when I get to just show up. So, excited for that. We're going to, like, the million dollar or, yeah, million, million dollar cowboy bar. bar. Uh, we are going horseback riding, we're going hiking, apparently there's like really good restaurants, like some brunch or pastry plays. I want to get a million dollar cowboy coffee. I think it's just called cowboy coffee, I don't know why I keep calling it a million dollar. I've been in Jackson Hole once before and I was like a kid, but we really were doing like Yellowstone mainly. I think we're going to go to Grand Teton National Park at one point. I, as you guys know, I bought the Prada Bolo tie, um, that I will be wearing two weekends in a row, so that's already justified. And then... I don't have any plans to go to Nashville, but I want to go to Nashville this year. I feel like I go to, I have like an annual Nashville trip at some point in the year. I just love Nashville so much. Ryan's actually going back for steeplechase, which is like a horse race. And I really wanted to go, but that weekend is Mother's Day weekend and I haven't seen my mom in five ever. So I'm actually flying her up to New York that weekend for Mother's Day. So I'm excited to see her and we're gonna have a whole weekend. She's like, Danielle, I want like, Actually, I don't even think she said it. I said it. I was like, I want you to have like a weekend in my life. So we're doing my perfect weekend formula. She wants to go dancing. And uh, I want to take her to New York Pilates. I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to go see a Broadway show. I'm excited. It'll be really fun. She always just like stays with me. 
And then I want to go home. I like haven't been home in so long for me. That's a long time. I haven't been home since end of January when I went for Gasparilla. It's April and I don't have plans to go until like around Memorial Day, which is really hard for me. Mainly because like obviously I talk to my family on the phone, but I miss my house. I freaking miss my backyard and I mainly miss Finley because I'm like Finley doesn't know. Like he, he just like sees me when I come home. It's my dog. He's a golden doodle. I feel like he doesn't know until he sees me and he's like, oh my God, you've been gone so long. So that's what I try to tell myself at least. Like he doesn't realize I'm gone until he sees me and then he gets really excited and it's really cute. So no complaints there. I'm just, it's sad because when I FaceTime, I'm like, hi Finley, it's me. And I feel like he doesn't, well, he doesn't register. Obviously this is turning into a get ready with me and I don't hate it. I feel like I have wanted some chatty time with you guys. It's really pretty. Because the rest of the day is actually about to get really busy and it's going to be like boom, boom, boom. Because I'm doing this, coming back. Um, my assistant's coming over. She's helping me film some stuff. She's literally the best. I am so happy I, Brooke and I fired, finally, <laughs> Brooke and I finally hired someone. We use, we have her for Gals on the Go and then she also helps us separately when we need. And it really changes my life. Like it's so nice to have someone help me film instead of always doing like a tripod or stuff like that. And she's so creative and so kind and just <clears throat> gets it. So Love her for that. But yeah, I'm excited to go home. I don't have my flights booked, but I plan to go home for Memorial Day around then for like a week at least because Brooke's going to Italy. I literally, Brooke and I base our schedules off of like what the other is doing. Like she's going to be in Italy for a week or two. I was like, because we like won't be recording the podcast obviously when she's not here. So it's kind of perfect. I, I can travel while she's traveling because we'll have pre-recorded stuff. Um been loving this Tarte Park Ave Princess. Maybe I'm not tan enough right now. I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow night for Grand Cayman, but I also am hoping I get a natural tan while I'm there. I'm so excited to go on a couple's trip. Oh, I can tell you guys this because this will be up after. I'm so excited. <laughs> me, so me, Kelly, and Cass, our boyfriends are going. And I've always wanted to do the prank on like a couple's trip where you, all the girls buy the guys the same shirt and they, we make them wear them on the same night at dinner, like with everyone else. So, um, and then they walk in and they're like, oh my gosh, like they're proud of their new shirt. Their girlfriend got them. And then like all the other guys are wearing it too. And I'm so excited. There's only three guys. So me, Kelly and Cass, we're trying to figure out because their boyfriends are very fashionable. Not saying Ryan's not, but like he doesn't, he'll wear whatever. And the, they're very, they're more like specific about what they wear, especially Kelly's boyfriend, Landon. He has his own company, kind of handsome, great stuff. Um, so she was worried. So he already had this like white long sleeve linen shirt from Abercrombie that she knew he was going to bring. So me, Ryan, or me and Cass bought that same shirt. And then we also, all three of us bought the matching linen pants because we knew they wouldn't wear like a Hawaiian shirt. I mean, I knew, I know Ryan would, but like she, Kelly was worried that Landon wouldn't because he, he dresses himself. Like he really doesn't like, like he's got his own swagger. So we couldn't do a Hawaiian shirt. He'd be like, no, Kelly, that's not my brand. Um, so this like, it's literally a white linen pant set like pants with a long sleeve and it's perfect because before this I actually told Ryan I was like I want you to get like a linen set for the trip I think it'd be nice we'll have it for the Hamptons for the summer and he was so down so he was already about to get one from H&M and uh, then I was like actually I'll get you this one from Abercrombie he -he. and he's like oh my god thanks but yeah as for other trips like don't have any like big European trips this summer I'd like to go to Europe I'd I um but I don't have plans who knows? I feel like it's like, oh, I have no plans this summer. And then things kind of pop up, which is awesome. I'm trying to get my high school friends for us to do a little weekend trip because we've never really done one. Cause we all went to like high school together. I mean, we like did like spring break senior year, but anywho, I'm just chatty Kathy this morning, which is good. Cause I hate when I'm like not <laughs> obviously. Fun fact, I literally have to use mascara primer. Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara. This stuff is incredible. I don't love how it comes off of your lashes like when you're in the shower, but I guess that's the point. It comes off in like chunks because it's like wraps around your lashes so it stays on longer and it doesn't do as much like leaking on the bottom, but I don't know. I do love how long it lasts. Like I don't have to... And there's not usually a lot of black under my eyes, which I really love because there's nothing worse if I'm like talking to someone and then I look in the mirror and I am a raccoon. 
very embarrassing. I mean, they, they know it. We all know it. We all can relate, but it's just not fun either way. I'm like, can you just sit, tell me like all oh, under your eyes? Like, I'll, I'll do it. I won't be upset. I'll be very happy that you told me. Someone asked me why I have my hand sanitizer instead of going to wash my hands. I also go wash my hands, but like after I do my makeup, I'm just in here and I'm still touching things. I'm touching my pants and I like when there's a little makeup on it. So I just do that. Or if I'm about to do my makeup, I have hand sanitizer. I don't know. Leave me be. Final thing here, the one size setting spray. And then we're gonna get dressed. I already picked out my outfit. And I'll do my lips right before I leave because like I'll drink some water or something again. Well, thanks for doing my makeup with me. That was like the full, the full thing. Okay, so I'm just wearing this black top. It looks like a bodysuit, but it's not. I just tucked it in. Anything normal Kamali will slay, will hit, will fit you so lovely. It's made well. Like I like how this off the shoulder is actually staying exactly where it's supposed to be. And then I'm wearing these black trousers from Abercrombie. They're the Curve Love. I really struggle with trousers to fit right, but the Curve Love from Abercrombie fit my hips nicely. Orium belt. I typically try to dress pretty like simple yet elevated and chic. Um, so we're gonna do some jewelry. I don't even think I need a necklace, but I'm gonna do these earrings. Oh wait, I forgot I have my little hoops in. Those are my workout hoops. <laughs> Hmm, do I want to do necklaces? If I did, maybe I would just do one for shoes. I wonder if I can get away without a jacket. I feel like I kind of can. I feel like the high is 70 today. It might be a little chilly, but it's fine. Maybe I do rings instead, question mark? Ring. The earrings are so cute. I kind of feel like this is good. It's simple and chic. I mean, I could add a bracelet like on the sleeve, but I don't even think so. Let's pick out shoes and do the lips for lips we're gonna do this maybelline lip liner in the color magnetic mauve and then of course pat mcgrath flesh fantasy you guys already know the drill it's just like a pinky rosy color shoes i usually end up taking off my shoes especially when i'm in people's homes but i think i might just pop on my loafer some people hate these because they're backless but I don't like blisters. These are Jeffrey Campbell. Here's the fits. So cute, so comfy, great transition from winter to spring outfit, I feel like. Maybe I'm just biased, but yeah, I'm really trying to build up my capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna do a whole video really soon because I've been inspired and I want to give some tips to you guys too. All right, we're gonna go record with Tegan. I am so excited. Behind the scenes. Hi guys. I'm Hi guys. Tegan. You guys are gonna be obsessed with her morning routine. You it's really walked very, us through it's everything. It's super basic, but I mean, you keep know. saying that, but it's so good. Like all the supplements, everything. We love a good morning routine. Set your day up right. Oh well, I'm so glad. I can't wait for you guys to see this episode of Am Uncovered. And thank you again, Tegan. Of course. Recording with Tegan was amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see that episode. Um, I ordered myself lunch from Lunwich. I am in my wrap era. I'm freaking obsessed. I get oh here it is right here. I get a turkey wrap or spin and drop with turkey, provolone, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, oil, and vinegar, and it is so good. Oh, also, I'm about to wrap Kelly's gift. This is the bag I got her. I forgot if I showed you guys or if I just told you. It's like a super mini little white bag, perfect for spring and summer. Um, it literally does not fit your phone, but it fits your lip stuff, and I know she has it in another color, so I know she'll like this, and it's just so perfect. And she got me a really nice birthday gift, so I wanted to repay the favor. I'm gonna have a half of this right now. Lucy just helped me shoot some stuff for a campaign I'm doing. We're doing well. Ryan's back to finish the job <laughs> before trivia. <laughs> I'm finishing up some editing here and then we're going to trivia. Like I said, I also got these new sneaks. I'm a sneakerhead these days, not actually, but I do love these. They're very cool. Hey okay, guys, here's like my 5,000th outfit of the day. Going to trivia. Abercrombie Bomber, a little Bomber, Bomber, <laughs> little Ritzia T, low rise baggy jeans from Abercrombie, my sneaks, belt. Let's go, I'm excited. I got Katie, Bilotti, and Jack to come too, so I'm excited to do some trivia. And there's our music round. The others are right here. Yeah. We're gonna have two. Okay, so the, our team name was the Smartinis. It was a good name, it was a good try, but it just didn't work out for us. We got, can I say? Well, now I, now I know what to 
Okay, friends, we're back from trivia, and I just ended my bed. I literally sleep like this. If I'm sleeping alone, all my pillows are going on that side. I know it's crazy, but then it makes making the bed in the morning so much better. I just scrubbed all of my self tan off. I'm gonna do it again in the morning, so I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow night. And I just put like dry shampoo in a bun. That's usually how I sleep, in like a very loose bun or ponytail. Tonight was so fun. I'm so glad this is so silly. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Right before I went to bed, I put myself on a wait list for an 8 a.m. Pilates class because that was the only time frame I could get a workout in today. And I woke up and I got in and I'm actually not mad. I was nervous I was gonna wake up and hate myself for that, um, but I didn't. I'm feeling good. I woke up, I made my bed, made some coffee as I do. And I'm actually really looking forward to it because New York Pilates, I just love the atmosphere in there is so nice so that, I don't know, it's just very welcoming. It's chill. It's not easy, but it's chill. It's just a really nice atmosphere. And I always say this, but I love Pilates because they really focus on the breath. So if I'm having a stressful day, I'm subconsciously doing all this breath work in a way because the breath work helps me get through the planks and the hard parts. Um, I'm still like not a pro. Like people are like, oh my God, you go to Pilates all the time. really so good. I'm honestly not. <laughs> like I'm a big modifications girl. Like if they suggest a modification, I'm like, yep, knees down. <laughs> like, um, I mean, I try to push myself but, myself, but there's definitely days where I do not. So I wanna be upfront about that. But yeah, I was just doing a little basic skincare feeling ugly. <laughs> I scrubbed off all my self tan last night. So you know the drill with that. Yeah, we have a really busy day today. Um, recording three podcasts, two for Gals on the Go, and then another one. I'm going on Carly Weinstein's podcast called Real Podcast. I'm really excited because I believe we're like filming it on her couch, sweatpant vibes, and I just love Carly so much. I love talking to her. She's just so kind and so real. So, and we also have to pack because I leave for Cayman Islands tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning. But yeah, simple Pilates fit. I need to get my Pilates socks, put on a jacket, and we'll walk to Pilates. Hey guys. Pilates was fab, showered, getting ready for all the podcasts I have today. I'm attempting this lip stain and I'm trying to use it as a lip liner and I feel like it's a little uneven. But yeah, basically, I should have to look up how long I'm supposed to keep this on. You're supposed to be able to peel it off and it's like all day lip liner, which I thought was perfect for today since I'm podcasting so much. But also so that I'm podcasting so much, this might look terrible. Makeup looks good though. Updates to come. Okay, I literally had it on for like five minutes. I need to like brush up a little. I used a Q-tip to remove. On TikTok, you see people using their fingers and just peeling it off. But I think since I didn't do my whole lip, can you see? Like, this is crazy. And if this really lasts all day, I'll be amazed. I just need to like, I don't know, brush away any more of the purple. But like, this looks good. I kind of want to do my whole lip next time. And then I'll just add, wow. <laughs> we'll just add a gloss. And then it'll be good to go and my lips will be all defined all day, maybe. I mean, we're gonna put this to the test today. But so far, and I really like this color. I mean, this is good. So this is the brand Wonder Skin from Amazon and this is in the color Whimsical. It's called their Lip Mask. And like, I look like I have eyeliner on. This is a, or eyeliner, <laughs> lip liner. Okie dokes, sun is coming out. It was supposed to rain today, but we're gonna lean in. Just took the rollers out of my hair, feeling fab, feeling glam. Headed to the studio now. We're recording an episode all about brand trips 101, like all of the brand trips Brooke and I have been on, uh, some of the standouts, what brand trips are all about, just kind of really diving into brand trips because we've both been doing this for over 10 years and we've been on so many, which is so amazing. And I'm very grateful for that. And I feel like you guys find brand trips so interesting. I feel like there's been so many recently too. So if you're very curious about all those, Definitely go give that a listen. By the time this vlog is up, that episode will be out. I'm wearing this dress from Revolve on the pod today. I just love the color. I love an off the shoulder moment on the podcast. I think it looks very nice and flattering. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're also recording an intro because we had Peyton Sarton on our podcast when we were in LA. 
But we like to keep the podcast current and do like little updates in the beginning. So we're going to do an intro for that episode, um, which will be all about spring in and outs, state of the union, spring edition. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing this dress and then I brought a change of clothes, like I said. And I'm going to come back. I really want to try and get a pedicure, hence why I'm wearing like these little sandals because I just realized my toes are gross and I'm going on a beach trip. So we're going to see how much we can get done today. I got a Dunkin' to go. Why not? Recording done. Hi. Um, just got a pedicure. It was amazing. That foot massage just hits so good. Um, I just want everyone to know I'm currently drinking a smoothie. I had a granola bar. I drank lots of drinks. The lip liner's still on. This shit works. It's a little crazy. I, 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 I think next time I want to try and do it on my whole lips and see what I think. Because um, I do feel like when the gloss comes off, it looks really funky because just my lip liner's there. But we are dressed comfy cash as instructed because I'm going on Carly Weinstein's podcast called Real. Carly Weinstein, I'm, just, I'm excited. I feel like I'm on my way to therapy and I don't hate it. And her and I live kind of close so I can walk, which is nice. Even though it might rain out, I'll just bring an umbrella. But I'm just wearing this little park sweatshirt. I pulled my hair back. This was so rogue of me. In this little MEJ, like pink hair clip. Not pulling my hair back is rogue, but I've never worn one of these flower ones, but I was looking for a pink claw clip to kind of pull it all together. I feel like by the time I get to Carly's, I'm gonna have to redo it. Cause I feel like wind and stuff will pull my hair in the front. I don't really know. I just feel like from the side, it might look nice. And I feel like I'll be looking at her and I know she does video. So we're gonna head over and I have no idea. She told me I didn't need to prep anything. Um, we're pretty good friends, so I feel like we'll chit chat and get real. I know she was just on a big trip, so I don't know if this is gonna be the podcast episode where she catches us up on all that, so I'm excited about that. And we're just gonna get real, so definitely go listen to her podcast if you haven't. I was just listening to her episode today that she did with somebody, and I really enjoyed it. She's just so great at speaking. Oh my god, I have to go right now. Okay, bye. Let's go. The podcast ooh, went so well. I forgot to vlog with her because we were just talking away. Go listen. I think the episode's out now by the time you guys are watching this. Real with Carly Weinstein. I talked about some stuff that I haven't before. So highly suggest I'm running home now to get spray tan because it's vacation time almost. Spray tan is done. Already just feeling better. I love a spray tan as you guys know. We're gonna make some taco bowls tonight. Um, Ryan's sleeping over tonight because tomorrow morning we have an early flight and we just like to go to the airport together. So I'm gonna make some ground turkey. Got some taco seasoning. Gonna make rice, beans, corn, and an avocado. And that's our bowl. And I'm really excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. I made this meal last week, so. But I really enjoyed it. It was very filling. And Ryan was like, I, he was like, that sounds amazing. Cause I made it last week, but I, I didn't have any for him. So we gonna do that today. And I need to start packing. I've pulled a ton of things that I'm bringing to the Cayman Islands, but um, I haven't like brought out the suitcase yet, but I have like all these lists in my phone. I have obviously my Google Doc I made where I put all my outfits there and stuff like that. Um, need to make sure Ryan packs his white linen set because I think I was just texting with the girls. We're gonna have the boys wear that tomorrow night, the first night. Tomorrow night's Kelly's real birthday too, so. People were asking, like, I was telling some people about it, and they're like, are you guys going to match, too? The girls was like, no, no, no. Just the boys. And it's going to be so funny. I mean, damn. Look at her. That's stunning. I'll mix it all together. We've got rice on the bottom. She's stunning. I will be digging in now. All right, guys. Welcome to my Cayman Islands Google slide. I thought I would show you guys around. Come and stay a while. I always, I literally make this for everything. Like I'm going to stagecoach next weekend. I have a stagecoach one. I'm going to Jackson Hole. I have a Jackson Hole one, like without fail. This one, I just finalized. So I, if I'm buying something for a trip or if I'm like, oh, I forgot I have this, I'll find a photo online of it. It's probably better if you do a photo of yourself in the outfit, but I don't always like take photos. I'll like try everything on, but I don't always have photos. And I don't know. I like seeing these photos better. They're always better. So um, I, it's just so fun for me to make a little collage. So I kind of start to put everything that I ordered or that I already have on. And then the week leading up to it, I start adding accessories and stuff. So sitting here right now, I'm like, okay, what bag will go with what? Trying to decide. Obviously tried everything on, but a few I didn't. So I'm like, like accessories wise, I tried all the outfits on, but 
I'm bringing more outfits than I need, but my mood changes and you know what? So um, I'm trying to see, okay, if I bring this bag, it goes with all three of these outfits. That's perfect. If I bring these shoes, am I going to have more than one pairs of shoes, more, more than one outfit that I can wear it with? Yes. And I'm also, I'm, these are the two pairs of heels I'm bringing. I mean, these Dolce Vita ones and then these Zara ones. And then these are more like day outfits. We're doing like a boat day at one point. Well, this is nighttime. This is a dinner outfit. These are day outfits. Um, this could also just be a fun cover up. So trying to decide on that. And then these are the sandals I'm bringing. So I'm like, okay, I could wear this outfit with these, these Dolce Vita ones or these sandals. And these would be my cute sandals. Got this outfit. I'm bringing this bag. I'm like, okay, this would go with either outfit. Again, those, there are those clear heels and these, my starfish earrings are going with like everything. I'm so excited. Um, TBT, I wear this dress in Greece and I'm like, I think it needs another moment. And then these are two like cover up pool vibes or just like if I'm running down to breakfast, there are those heels again, or heels, sandals. These are some necklaces I wanna wear with a similar outfit. I have like a similar bikini and then I bought these pants, um, kind of like a mix match moment. I was like, oh, that'd be fun to wear a ton of necklaces with it. And then these flip flops I'm also bringing. So these are the two pairs of sandals I'm bringing. And then these are some like accessories I'm bringing that I thought I would do. So this is kind of a little lineup. And then obviously I bring a couple workout outfits, pajamas, um, and I don't put my bathing suits on there. I just kind of pack a bag of bathing suits, but this just helped me. So now I'm, okay, I'm gonna pack this bag and this bag. So that's easy. So it's a little crazy in here. Um, I packed all of my clothing. I also put a pair of denim shorts in there. Got this little bag that has all my bikinis in it. So fun. Put the shoes there. This is also just me organizing. I'm realizing I need to go through my swimsuits. This is the fun Colt Gaia bag that I am borrowing and I'm so excited to bring this. Hopefully it fits something. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, some hats, Kelly's birthday gift, obviously. Need to do the toiletry still. I forget why I took you guys in here. Oh, and then I am doing the jewelry, putting it in this little thing my aunt got me for Easter actually. It's so perfect because I have a huge one but I kind of needed a little bit of a smaller one when I'm not bringing, you know, every jewelry piece ever. And now I'm like, do I have an outfit I could, yeah, I do have an outfit I'd wear those earrings with. These are so cute, right? They're from Revolve. A little two flower moment. I still need to take out some earrings, but yeah, things are going well besides the mess. I need to clean that, I need to put a podcast on, but that's where we're at, fam. Packing up the toiletries, got my Kevin Murphy mini shampoo and conditioner, which I'm happy about. It's looking oh so much better in here, that's for sure. Suitcase is done. I totally overpacked, 1000%, I'm aware. Um, I just need to throw my toiletries in in the morning. Picked out my little airport outfit, a little sweat set in this tank situation. Even if we're going to a warm place, like the airplanes are cold, I'm gonna wear a sweat set. Um, and I'm gonna wear my sneakers right here because I did bring like two workout outfits. I, I could see us going for a walk or something. Who knows? Ryan's about to be here, but yeah, feeling good about the packing. I'm feeling so, so excited. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see everything from the trip. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again to Kevin Murphy for sponsoring this video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.